Well, good morning, or good afternoon. I thought I'd just talk a little bit, introduce myself, and uh, here live here in Central North Carolina, and uh, it's been a tough year. This is June 2020, and uh, it's been some rough times, and. Uh, a lot of people just don't know how to do. I hear all kinds of talk, who's responsible, and this, that, and the other. It's a bad time. And if I didn't know the Lord right now, I would really be worried. Uh, he's the only one gonna get anybody through this. And if you don't know him, I invite you to know him. But uh, it's a bad time. And people don't have no persistence no more. They don't have no uh, gumption. Is an old old word. I know that's the only way I know to put it. And uh, people just don't have that no more. And I'll be honest with you, I'm not the man my daddy was or is. Not the man my grandparents was. Uh, my grandfather, both of them was stout as mules. Uh, grandfather on my mother's side, I've seen him get out here in the garden and just squat and stay squatted and pick beans or whatever all day long. <laughs> I can't do that. I got too much lard on me. But uh, we're just living in a different time. And uh, trying to have a garden this year. I lost my job first of the year. And uh, Had another job, a fella called me and I tried it out. It just didn't work out, that's a long story. So here I am today, and uh, I told my wife, I said, well, I know how to grow, grow a garden. I forgot how much work's involved in it, but we're trying our best to, uh, I showed you a video earlier of our corn and how I worked that field to get corn planted and it takes persistence i watched a video this morning i'll do a quick shout out to a couple people on here if i can uh, mr danny king down at deep south homestead i really appreciate your channel and your videos they are very in inspiring uh, to me and uh, you and wanda work hard but uh, i watched him do his porch time this morning and uh, People act just like their garden or homestead's a grocery store. You throw the seed in the ground and you think you're gonna, gonna pick, go to the grocery store and get green beans tomorrow. It don't happen that way. There's a lot of sweat. And I mean, this old cap, it didn't get that way by sitting on the shelf. It got that way getting out here sweating. And here's something else. This here's another tool right here. People don't even know what that's for now. Instead of using this, they use Roundup or some other method. No-till farming, they call it. And uh, I just do it the whole way. I, I'm thankful. I was thinking while Danny was putting his video up, I said, I'm thankful that I was raised on a farm, raised in the country, and learned from my parents and grandparents how to do this. And we need to pass this information on. I'm thankful for YouTube. I really am. If it weren't for YouTube, I mean, I have learned so much uh, from different folks on there. Uh, my wife has. Uh, how to do different things. Cooking certain items. Um, just so much. And I'm thankful for that. We need to pass this information on. Because it's going to be for long. It ain't going to be here. Uh, and there's a lot of speculation as to what's going on. I'm not going to get no conspiracy talk or nothing like that. I got my own ideas. Uh, but uh, I'll tell you what the answer to all this is. It's the Lord. Plain and simple. And uh, I get in trouble a lot of times when I say this. But the church is where the answers, it's where the problem's at. The church has played church for a long time, and they've got away with it because preachers quit preaching. 
They sold out for a parsonage and a paycheck. I just might as well have fun while I'm right here. And uh, they quit telling the truth. And now we've got a gener whole generation that knows nothing of what old time religion is. I mean, I, I grew up around this. And it saddens me to see the condition of our land now. But, uh, yeah, you get in trouble when you say that. I'll probably get get several negative comments. That's all right. I really don't care. I didn't ask for nobody's approval, no how. <laughs> but uh, I always manage my mouth gets me in trouble everywhere I go. <laughs> so I'm used to it. But uh, now the answer is turning back to the Lord. And uh, the saved people supposed to be Christians. They're the ones that need to get right with God. If they get right with God, sinners is going to get right with God. The reason sinners can't get right with God is because they don't see no testimony in so-called church people, Christians. Now, like I say, as well have fun. But I didn't get on here to do that. But I just wanted to do a shout out to several people that so uh, I, I really enjoyed Deep South Homestead and uh, watch Fall Line Ridge young man down in Georgia I believe it is he has a sawmill Woodmiser sawmill and I really enjoy watching that I, I'll be honest with you with all this stuff going on I think I mentioned it in my other video this morning but with all this stuff that's going on right now I don't even look at my TV um, my downtime I'll try to take and look at some inspiring videos that I can learn from and uh, try to watch that and keep up with you guys what y'all are doing there's a fella up in the mountains here like I say I'm here in North Carolina and I think he's up around Asheville the other side of Asheville uh, Michael McCoy and I have really enjoyed your videos I just found you in the last week or two and I really hope y'all pray for Michael. He's got cancer. He's battling cancer. And y'all pray for him. Pray for his wife, his family. Um, and I have enjoyed watching you. You, you, you. Me and you'd hit it off if we was together. Uh, you're my kind of people, y'all are. And uh, I enjoy watching you and uh, several others. I, I'm scared really to start calling names because I, I know I'm going to leave somebody out. But... Uh, I watch y'all, watch the man up in Canada that's got his self-reliance uh, wilderness up there. I, I like to watch him, and uh, Lord, my mind's gone blank, but uh, I enjoy that, really do, and uh, I, I hope maybe we can make some videos. I don't know. I'm learning this. I'm learning this stupid old GoPro. Uh, that thing, <laughs> I still don't know. I come up by accident and pull my videos up on it. And now I can't remember how I done it. But I'll get it. So don't worry about that. But <laughs> just learning it. And I might do this. I don't know. I may not like it. I've had a YouTube channel now for several years. And I've just put bits and pieces of stuff that I've had. And. Yeah, I do. I play a Hammond organ. I love that. I grew up with that kind of music. I don't want this old, long, drawn-out funeral music or nothing like that. I like it to have a little bit of juice to it. But, uh, yeah, I enjoy that. I've got several videos on I don't know what it done. It just stopped. But whatever, we'll figure it out. But a buddy of mine we went to school with, uh... We played organ and piano together some. I enjoy that. Something to relax to. But, uh, no, I hope y'all, uh, we can put some things up. I've done one cooking video where we made seafood gumbo. That's a recipe my mother's had for several years. And uh, we put that up. And I might put some other things up. I thought about, you know, persimmon pudding. Uh, I don't know if many people 
we we eat it like crazy right here where I live. Have been all my life. And I don't know if the superstition or the saying's true, but I've heard that up in the mountains people don't eat it. I don't know whether that's true or not, but uh, I might do a video on that, on picking the persimmons up, cleaning them, because there is a right way to do it. And uh, I don't, uh, I don't eat just anybody's, because you can be absolutely nasty with it. And I, you know, I believe in being clean. You know, I know some people I wouldn't touch. They pick persimmons, bring them to us. I'm sorry, but I'm not eating them. They pick up bad ones, good ones, and all. If it's bad, it's bad. Throw it away. But I might do that. I might make a video on that, picking them up, cleaning them, working them out, and then making the finished product. And I apologize for this wind. I'll let it pass just a second. I don't have a microphone, and I probably need that. And uh, I'm just learning with this thing, so bear with me. Uh, YouTube don't have a good platform to chat with, but I would love to learn some things from you guys that do this. Uh, I would love if you had some information you could give me. I, I would love to be able to chat with you but I'd want to know that it's you YouTube don't have no private messaging no more and I hate that but uh, if you would like to disclose any information I would greatly appreciate it but uh, we might do that on doing persimmon pudding there ain't nothing no better around Thanksgiving have you a good old persimmon pudding to go with your Thanksgiving meal Christmas uh, we love it and I've got my grandmother. She's the only grandparent I've got living. Uh, I got her to show me how she made homemade chicken and dumplings. And uh, I learned some tricks. There is some tricks to that that a lot of people will uh, skip. She didn't cut no corners. But I may do that, but that's the fall of the year. Right now, I just don't want a whole lot to eat. It's just hot out here. Just put it in plain words. And uh, I don't know. I'm just rambling on. I don't know if anybody would find this interesting, but uh, I just want to say I love the Lord. God's been good to me. This old boy's blessed. And uh, I've got a good wife. I got two good sons. And uh, God's been good to me. That's all I can say. And uh, He's been merciful to me too. It's uh, really all I can say. And. Uh, That's all I know to say, but I just wanted to introduce myself. I hadn't really talked much. I just being on here, and uh, I worked at a place here. I don't know, a good ten years, but I've got experience in textiles for over twenty years. But I worked in a local textile mill here in our town and uh, been in business over 110 years. They up and shut it down beginning of the year. Wasn't surprised, but through it all, God's been good to me. I don't need nothing. And uh, I thank God for everything he's done. And uh, thank God for my wife. Boy, she's a hard-working woman. That is one more. She's tough as light or not. And uh, I thank God for her. She's been with me, put up with me, bless her heart, all these years. And 
We've been married 27 years now. And a lot of people in my age bracket, uh, late 40s, early 50s, they can't say that. And uh, I'm not bragging by no means. Because it's just been God. Because there have been times, me and her, you know, we've had our spats too. But, uh, it's just been the Lord. He's been good to us. I apologize for that microphone. This wind blowing. I don't have one that I can clip on me. I didn't know you had to have all this stuff. I'm just learning this. But anyway, we need to pray the Lord to give us some gumption because we're going to need it in days ahead. And need some determination. And if, I, if I'd have been my normal self, I'd give up on this garden and quit. But you know what? I can't do it. Because I don't know that I'm going to get a job this year. There's just nothing there. And I mean, I'm almost 50 years old. I can't do what i done when I was 20. Now, you that's got some age on you, you know what, what I'm talking about. And uh, there's just not a lot out there. And I've got some trades that I've learned through the years, but there's nothing there. I mean, it's just not available at this time. So I gotta make this garden work. And I've got other things up my sleeve that we may be working on. I don't know yet. Just take it one day at a time, whatever the good Lord wants to do. But uh, I do know this, if you don't work, you shouldn't be eating. Now that, that that's, you know, that, uh, that, that, there's a lot of good lesson in that right there. We got too many people today eating that ain't working. And it uh, shouldn't be that way. But uh, I'm going to work. I'm going to do what I can. I, I've been out here working. And uh, just keep nailing at it. I mean, that's what I talked about my daddy. My daddy had some grit in him. Still got it. He's just older now. But uh, come Saturday morning, we didn't get to do what other young people did my age when I was young. We uh, we got the tractor out, got the saws and axes and mauls and all that stuff, and we cut wood in the winter time. <laughs> And by Saturday evening, you was so tired and wore out. You didn't feel like going to town and cutting up and messing. I tell you, that'd stop some of this rioting around here if, if some mamas and daddies would put their youngins to work, wire their tails out, get them wore out. When I say wore out, I mean just wore down and just plain old country boy tired. They wouldn't feel like going out here tiring down, tiring up everything. And uh, that'd stop it. And it ain't some stuff needs to be stopped. Things is out of control. Politicians is out of control. Well, some politicians need to be put in jail. And this might, might get my YouTube channel banned. I don't know. But uh, we got some politicians that's promoting stuff around here that shouldn't be promoted. And uh, I don't want to get too deep on that. Because I don't want to risk my channel being taken down. But... Uh, it, it, it's sight what the world's into. But anyway, I can't see that little thing up there how long I've been a-going, but felt like a tick crawling up my leg. There's a spider or something or other. But uh, I'm going to get off of here, and I hope and trust this will be a help to somebody. And we may do some more hands-on stuff later on. Uh, show you how to work that old weight in forward over there. I see a lot of videos on about them. And uh, JT West, man here, I think he's here in North Carolina, I heard him say. Uh, he put a video up. He got a 140 farm all. That's a good tractor. It's a good cultivating tractor. Uh, but he made the statement. He said, where well, most people go play golf and go fishing, this, that, and the other to have a little recreation. He said his is on his tractor and I, I can I agree with him. That's where mine's at. 
Uh, I ain't interested in golf. Nothing wrong. If that's what you like to do, you go for it. But uh, I love to be on my tractor. That's, that's my place. And I love to be out in the woods. I love to be in a field somewhere. That's where I get away. Some people go to the beach. Nothing wrong with that. That's where you want to go. You want to go to the mountains. Wherever. But a uh, man needs a place to just get away for a little bit. You go crazy if you don't. And uh, right now, that's pretty much where I'm at. But uh, y'all pray for us. Pray for my wife, my family. Uh, like I say, I, I don't need no handouts. Good Lord's taking good care of us. But I want to do His will. And I want to work. I want to provide. And that's what I'm doing. I'm doing it best I can right now. I'm providing for my family something to eat. I'm providing them food. Of course, my boy's almost grown. They can do for themselves. They know how to get in the car. And if they don't like what's at the house, they get in the car and go get them something. I mean. But, uh, it's just pretty short list it's going to be me and mama at home and uh, most most our stuff's paid for so good lord taking care of us i'm not asking for a handout i know me i don't want nothing but i do want you to pray for us and uh, you pray for some of these other youtubers i know several out here that's going through some hard times so I can't think of the name, but the people down south of here, tornado tore their place up. Uh, Gemini Homestead, I believe it is. Y'all pray for them. They, they having some rough times. And uh, you pray for these folks. They're real people. They got real problems. They got real lives. And this thing's real. I see people over there now, don't get me wrong, they got good channels, but some of the stuff I see them are doing, <laughs> it's not reality. Uh, when I'm in the garden working, I ain't dressed in beach clothes, I'm sorry. I got my boots on, my overalls, this is how I go with my garden. And uh, I'm out there to work. And when I'm out there, I'm sweating. I mean, I'm sweating head to toe. So, I'm just rambling on, I know. But anyway, uh, I hope we can put some more videos up that's going to be a help. And maybe somebody will catch this. I don't know. Maybe not. But uh, anyway, y'all have a good day. And uh, Lord willing, we'll talk at you again.